A majestic American bison who roamed our early frontier by the millions became a symbol of strength, not only for Western Indians, but also for our pioneering forefathers, providing food, fuel, clothing, and shelter. With the arrival of white buffalo hunters and the opening of railroads to the West, the slaughter began. By 1900, some 50 million plains bison had been killed, bringing the native wild herds to near extinction. There were only 100 bison still alive at that time, and a bison society was formed to help build the herds once again. Today, more than 75,000 bison are alive in the United States and 30,000 in Canada. The American bison is no longer in danger of becoming extinct. It's evident right here in western New York, in the town of Ellicottville, some 45 miles south of Buffalo, a 600-acre spread, uh, more than 300 bison, the uh, largest herd east of the Mississippi. It's called the B&B &B Buffalo Ranch, founded by former Supreme Court Justice Frank Baker and managed by his son and partner, Glenn Baker. Since I retired from the bench, I decided to go back into the trial practice and uh, it's a, uh, it's a type of work that uh, has a lot of pressure. And of course, my son uh, got me interested in this, and it's a, a release and an outlet for me. How did you get started? Where did you get your first bison, and how many? Well, we bought our first bison in uh, South Dakota from the Custer State Park. It's, uh, it's a very large uh, state park up there, and they have a herd of approximately 2,000 buffalo. And we decided that we wanted to get the healthiest animals that we could in the nation, and that's where we located them. We hear so many people refer to the bison as a buffalo. Uh, are we all wrong by calling these uh, animals buffalo? No, not really. The common name is buffalo. The, their scientific name is bison bison. A clan is raising uh, bison uh, much different than raising, say, cattle. It is different. Their bison are still a wild animal. So you have to handle them with a different manner. Uh, they're, they're not an animal that can be pushed. You gotta lead them, and you only handle them a few times a year. Uh, what kind of a daily schedule do you have? Well, in the winter time, I have to feed them hay. We don't have enough rangeland here for them to naturally graze for themselves. So I put out some hay for them every day, and a little salt and maybe some grain. In the summertime, uh, mostly it's checking fence and doing repairs and building other buildings, but leaving the buffalo alone. How big do these uh, bison get? How heavy? Well, a mature bull at six or eight years old can weigh a ton, maybe 2,400 pounds, and a cow will weigh maybe 1,800 pounds. Is there uh, any one special bull in your herd that maybe sort of takes over? Uh, there is, but there's a cow, actually, that is more of a leader. She'll lead the whole herd around. Once in a while a, a bull will get in there, but it's really the cows that are the leaders. Do they fight for supremacy and anything like that? Yes, yes, uh -huh. it's survival of the fittest. Uh -huh. uh, they, are they mean? Uh, I mean, we've been walking amongst them, but you certainly wouldn't want one for a pet, I don't imagine. No. Some people have raised a little calf that's been abandoned mm -hmm. to a pet, but as it gets older, it that wild instinct will come out. We treat them as a wild animal. What is the product you're selling? The product that we're mainly interested in is the meat of the bison. It, it's an organic food. It's uh, grazed. It's not shot up with any chemicals. It's not fed any drugs. And in that sense that we're growing a, a good product that is lower in cholesterol, lower in fat. In fact, it's lower in cholesterol than fish or chicken. Mm -hmm. And it's about 50% lower in cholesterol than in beef. There have been taste tests done and people have preferred buffalo over beef. It has a sweeter taste to it. It is a little more expensive than beef, but ounce for ounce, you're getting more protein in your meat. Plus, you're getting more meat for your dollar value because of the less fat in it. And it's probably more healthy. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs>